I've had this broken custom T-Bird for a while now. Someone in the past has broken off the driver's side front pillar and pulled the windshield out. Fixing the pillar would be hard, and finding a replacement plastic windshield without destroying another car would be even harder. So the answer that came to me was simply to convert the car to a convertible and then find a modern windshield to fit it. So in this video, that's exactly what we're going to do. We'll start by taking the car apart and removing the interior, then removing the paint, and then finally removing the top with the Dremel cutoff disc. The cutoff tool slices through Zamac like a knife through butter, so be very careful. You can see here that the cutoff tool left some pretty rough edges, and I left quite a bit of the three remaining pillars. The best way to remove a lot of metal without risking too much damage to the car is to use a small file. You can get these at any hobby store. I'm going to slowly remove what is left of the pillars and then sand the entire car. So here's the car all sanded. Notice there's still small spots of toning on the hood. I didn't want to go too crazy on the hood as it's very thin and the spots could go all the way through. For the most part the body is in good shape so we can move on to polishing. Polishing this car was not that much of an issue as the body doesn't have much in raised detail. I chose to go with gold spectroflame paint as I haven't tried it yet. And I also read that there are some very rare gold custom T-Birds with white interiors that were made just for store displays. Since I'm customizing, and I'm kind of curious what that combination would look like, I figured we'd try that out. While we're talking about interiors, and I'm waiting for paint to dry, I'll go ahead and paint the interior with white primer, and then seal it with matte clear coat. The steering wheel comes out of the interior, telling us that this is a Hong Kong car. Finding a windshield that would fit was a bit of a task. I was hoping to get one that was clear, but settled for this smoke plastic as it looked like it would fit the best. I just used a Dremel with a sanding drum to remove the plastic from around the window. The trick is to go slow and to not try to take off too much at any one time, as it will melt the plastic and start to gum up. I just made light passes until the windshield was cut out. I decided to glue the window in as I couldn't come up with a way to attach it without gluing it. I used industrial strength super glue to glue it to the car body. Once the glue is set, we can go about putting the car back together. The base of the car, I only changed out the wheels. The base was actually in good shape. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the way this car turned out, especially compared to what I started with. Looking at the car this enlarged, the windshield is a tad out of scale. However, you may not notice it if the car was just sitting on the table. I really like the gold and white. I can see why Mattel used it. Well, let me know what you think down below in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching.